Hello everybody, DSP here and today is Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. And today, the latest Loot Crate just arrived, was just de delivered in the mail, and I said let me actually film this same day so that way those of you who uh, like to watch people unbox it can see it right away. I know that a, a lot of people on the internet do Loot Crate and unbox it on release day, so I said let me go ahead and do it this time because I actually have time to film this. Um, however, this is number five of six, and what I mean by that is this is the fifth Loot Crate that I am unboxing here on my vlogging channel on YouTube, and it's now time for me to decide whether or not I want to continue doing so or not. Do I want to continue being a member of Loot Crate and continue to unbox these every month, or at this point, do you think that it's basically worn out, it's welcome, it's getting stale? I need your direct feedback in the description of the, the description, excuse me, in the comments of this video, or you can always shoot me an email, darksidephil at hotmail.com, or tweet me at they call me DSP on Twitter, and let me know your thoughts. I mean, I'm a kind of, it's a mixed bag for me, and let me explain. It's actually fun for me to unbox these every month. I enjoy doing it. I think it's a lot of fun to see what's in the box. Some months, I think there have been some better stuff. Other months have been kind of crappy. It all really depends on what's in the box and is it themed towards something that I know and that I like, right? Um, and some people have said they like the series and other people have said they don't get the point where a lot of other people have been doing this for years and it would be interesting to see me maybe do something a little different. So I've been thinking about it, and it's like, if I continue it on, and next month basically is the last one, and after that I have to choose whether or not to renew. If I, of course it's auto-renew, so I need to turn it off the renewal system so that I won't get it for another six months if I decide not to do it. So based off of your feedback, in this video I'll decide whether or not I want to continue. Now there are other options. People have said, well did you hear that there's this one called Hero Crate, I think, and there's another one called like Nerd Something. There's two or three other businesses that have popped up since Loot Crate started doing this and do similar things. Some of them even have things that are more catered towards a certain audience. So if I only wanted video games, I could do that instead of the mix that sci-fi, comic books, video games that Loot Crate is, okay? So let me know your opinions, your thoughts in the comments of this video, and judging off of that will determine whether or not I renew this, or if I decide to just kind of discontinue it and either go to a different company or do something different, all right? So month five of six, it's January. I have no clue what the theme could possibly be for January, besides maybe a new year. I don't know. Let's see. So I'll flip this open, and immediately, power, reset, and two very familiar controller ports. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be an NES. It's not mistakable to be anything else than, than an NES. Take a look at this. So we've got Rad Dude sticker. I got Slimes. That must be a reference to Bad Dude. Oh, no, Rad Dude. That's probably Ninja Turtles. Ghostbusters. That looks like a Tetris sticker. And again, it's a fake NES. That's pretty neat. So let's see what we've got in here. First of all, Black T... No, Black Tie Geek. Established 2013 in downtown Los Angeles. What is this? It's a box. What's in the box? How do you open the box? What is this? Black tie geek. Here, I'm gonna, oh, it's a tie. Check this out. It's a Space Invaders tie. Of course, it's not the real Space Invaders because they probably don't want to get sued. Okay. But it is Space Invaders, black and white, silk tie, and it's a thin style. This is what's in now, the thin style tie. When I was younger, it was the thicker ties. Now everyone's wearing these thinner ties. So it's a geek tie of Space Invaders. All right, let's actually back the box up a little bit. It was a little too close there. There you go, Space Invaders. So that is black, black tie geek. And they, apparently they exist in downtown Los Angeles for, since 2013. That's interesting. I don't think I'm going to get this closed. This is quite quite difficult to get back in because of the plastic that they put. Oh, wait. There we go. I got it. Okay. What's next? We've got a t-shirt. All right. We didn't get one last month. Ooh. Now, this is kind of neat. If this is Voltron, which I think it is, it is. It's a blueprint of Voltron. Okay. I'm actually... Here's what I'll do. I'll back this up to show you guys. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because there's not a lot of light in here. Here you go, see? It's the blueprint of Voltron. And it says Pop House. Uh, I'm gonna read at the bottom what company made this. It is Classic, Classic, uh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive Flop House t-shirt of the blueprint of Voltron. Nothing on the back, it's pure black on the back, okay? 
So we've got a Voltron t-shirt. What the heck else do we have in this Loot Crate box this month? Let's take a look here. Let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> really cheesy plastic, what appear to be sunglasses, right? UV 400. 8-bit sunglasses, that's kind of cheesy, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of crappy, it's probably worth like 50 cents, okay, uh, what is this, the So Analog Tendo, so you get it, Nintendo, the So Analog Tendo, Loot Crate Exclusive, Corbin's Alley, Squid Kids Inc., for geeks, by geeks, if you don't know, Corbin is a character from the movie The Fifth Element, I recognize him immediately, that is a reference to the fifth element, so it's a fake NES game from the fifth element. So analog RIP, retro inspired products from Squid Kids Inc. Let's see what this actually is when I open it. Uh it's a fake cartridge? It's a a really tiny NES cartridge? I'm confused. Is this oh let me zoom out I zoomed in no wonder it was blurry I was like why is it so blurry all right caution do not lose your multi pass do not choke and do not kiss without permission this is all references to things that happen in the fifth element by the way Corbin's alley okay what's at the bottom of the box at the bottom what the flip look at this what is this I gotta see what this is uh it's hands. Hands, feet, and a gun? Let's see. If we plug this in, alright. What the hell is this? This is weird. This is weird stuff right here. Two feet. Two hands. Right? And a gun that you put in the hand. It's a little figure. A little NES figure. Corbin's Alley. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of neat. It's cool that it's reminiscent of an original NES cartridge. It's cool that they made 8-bit art out of a movie, sci-fi movie reference. Actually, a pretty good movie. It's very odd, but I actually enjoy it. I have it on Blu-ray. So that's pretty neat. What's the name of that company again? So Analog? So Analog. Tendo. Oh, here we go. Here's all their information. Tendo figures are art, not toys. All packaging is for protection only. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Okay? Loot Crate exclusive. You can't get that anywhere else. We've got some wild stuff in this, this month. What is this? Comic Notebook. 64 pages of never-before-seen action and adventure. A notebook for when inspiration strikes, cartooning tips, and tear-out balloons template for sight gags, character studies, and heroics. Let's see what this is. Holy moly. It's a, it is a pocket notebook where it has, like, panels. See that? And then in the back here, it has a stencil that you can use on these pages to draw word balloons and stuff. See that? If you wanted to do a word balloon... That's pretty crazy. Huh. Interesting. It's, it's a neat thing. It's basically a lot of people use a pocket notebook. So instead of having a standard one, have one with a little bit of a geek, uh, a geek association by having one that's like a pocket comic book. Get it? Let me get that back in its plastic if I can. All right, we're almost through this. A couple more things. We've got our, our usual monthly pen. And the, the theme this week, ladies and gentlemen, rewind. It's not focusing. It really likes to focus on the, the loot crate itself and not the button. Hold on. <laughs> Rewind. See? It's all about retro. It's a retro month. Which is why everything is kind of 8-bit themed, I guess, right? So we've got Rewind. Oh, wait. Before we get to that, because that's, I think, the book. That's the Loot Crate magazine to explain this. What's this? What the? Check this out. Star Wars, the, the comic book, issue one variant edition Loot Crate exclusive from Marvel Comics. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, because guess what happened? That's right, Disney bought everything. Disney bought Marvel, 
Disney bought Star Wars, so of course now Marvel's going to write Star Wars comics. And that's issue one, right there, with the backer board and everything. That's interesting. All right, so rewind. Let's see what they've got here. Okay. Featured looters. Here's all the looters that they put on here. Oh, an albino hedgehog in the last loot crate from last month. <laughs> a rewind through retro gaming, which we know. A little article there about retro gaming. So the Mega Crate this month had a freaking laptop, a huge statue of Voltron, a Lego Star Wars Death Star. It had a freaking digital camera worth almost $1,000, the Retron gaming system, and the Star Wars The Complete Saga. Throw out the first three, though. It's fucking stupid. Episodes 1, 2, and 3. Anyway, Voltron. So information about Voltron. Oh, then they're showing off the tie, the 8-bit tie with Space Invaders, right? And they're showing how long and skinny it is. That's the style now, apparently. So here you go. Tendo figures. Apparently, I could have gotten one of these different ones. Look, they have Alien Attack, which I guess is supposed to be Mars Attacks. Fire Hunt. I don't know what that one would have been. Fire Hunt. I'm actually going to look at it. I don't, can't tell what that is. Hmm. There's Corbin's Alley, the 1.21 1, 1 gigawatts, which is a reference to Back to the Future, Doctor Who, and then there was one that was ultra rare. It says, The Legend of the Future. Okay, that was an ultra rare golden cartridge variant. Well, I didn't get that one. All right. The Star Wars comic book. Here it says, would you look at that cover? I'm going to read this. Would you look at that cover? Who else but Luke Crate would endless Sol Han Solo? and Chewie to deliver our crates throughout the galaxy. We're not going to spend the, uh, spoil the stories for you, but they're definitely defenders of the crate. So I guess it's a comic book about Han Solo and Chewie de de uh, de delivering crates. And then the Voltron t-shirt. There it is, the Voltron blueprint t-shirt, the comic notebook, and then here, ha, a fake fold-out NES controller. So I guess if you wanted to, what you could do is completely unfold this box, right? You completely unfold the box and refold it the opposite way. And you could probably build, yeah, look, it is. If you unfold it, let me, let me do this. Look, I'll do it right here live. We're doing it live! Fuck it! I guess like this. And then like this. Right, and then this thing would stay. And you fold that back like that, and that like that. You get it in, and then like that. Ah, here we go. Almost got it, guys and gals. If only the freaking thing would fucking go in there. Go in. Got it. All right, look. It's your fake Nintendo. So there you go, the front. See? Power reset. Nintendo buttons. Controller ports. The flap that would flap up on the NES to put your cartridge in. You got your fake uh, stand, uh, signature NES. Oh, hold on. I'm zoomed in too far. I'm like, wait a minute. Your signature NES stripe, right? You got your Rad Dude Change Me Ninja Turtle sticker. You got your Ghostbuster sticker on the back. Those are the classic ports. That was the, a the AV port. Uh, and then you had your power port, and I forget what the other, oh, the other one might have been just direct to the TV. There you go. There's, side, there's other uh, alternate out ports with a up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, enter uh, sticker, which is a reference to the Konami code, a classic code for all Konami games on the Nintendo system that basically gave you cheats no matter when you put it in. 88 miles per hour. I guess that's Back to the Future reference. So, wow. If you definitely are looking for retro, I think you got it this month. With all the stuff, I mean, that fake controller you can fold up, that is a retro month. That This month is up my alley. I got every reference inside of here I actually understood this month. There was nothing that went over my head uh, because I am a fan of all the stuff that was here. So this, honestly, out of all the months I've done this, is actually probably one of my favorite ones. Oh, and I forgot to put that there, too. One of my favorite ones because the amount of stuff and the fact there's a T-shirt, which is cool, and the fact that, uh, you know, it's references that I got. It's pretty neat. So that's it for the January 2015 unboxing of Loot Crate, the Rewind theme. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, if you've enjoyed this series and you want to see it continue, you want to see me extend it for another six months, let me know. If you think that this is kind of played out, you want to see me do maybe try a different service and you want to recommend a different service, please do in the comments. Or if you say, you know, just spend your time on better stuff or different stuff, uh, you know, not really liking it or whatever, you let me know there, okay? Any, regardless of whatever the hell it is, okay? Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. It's a good one. Let me know in the comments, okay? Thanks very much, everyone. And uh, definitely uh, appreciate you watching. And hopefully next month we'll have a decision on whether or not I'm going to continue with Loot Crate or we go do something else, all right? Thank you, and see you later.